Yo, how's it going everyone? We are here for Alone in the Dark, new horror game that came out today. Uh, they released this little prologue, like, I don't want to say demo, but they released this little prologue thing a little while ago, um, which gives you a lot of intro to the story and some of the lore, so we're going to play through that. Apparently it takes half an hour to 40 minutes, and then jump straight into the actual main game. So yeah, appreciate everybody uh, coming out. We'll see how we get on here. Nice bit of survival horroring. After last night's spooky uh, jump scary game. This will be well, potentially not as jump scary. I'm not sure. But survival horror. So I think like Resident Evil, Silent Hill. Although like the less action-y Resident Evil games. So. But yeah, after last night's issues with the sound on the stream. Let me know if the sound in the game is... Uh, because the sound for the PS5 is like the capture card is turned all the way up. So if it's too quiet compared to my voice, I'll have to turn like my voice down and then just have to turn the overall volume up. But because I need to turn my headset up because even for me, it's not that loud. Mm. Where's the control thingy? There it is. There you go, that's better. What the hell was that? Yo, shout out to Katie Louise for the uh, £20 super chat. Uh, long time, Ningen. How you been? How's the same day celebration going? Uh, yeah, it's gone alright. Summons went pretty well. Um, looking forward to seeing what that Super Vegeta ECA is going to be like. Okay. Alright. Oh, God. Look at this mass. Look at this mass. Um, hello? The fuck? Ugh. The porter should be more careful with her medicine. Um Okay. Oh goodness, you scared me. You scared me. I have to tell someone what is going on here. I have to try. You're not one of them, are you? Please tell me, Chris. You're not a spy, are you? Who's spy? <laughs> them. The others. All of them. Them. No, you're too innocent. I'm too innocent. <laughs> I need to get this letter to my niece. She would understand. Just give it to the clerk, Mr. Waits, and he'll post it. No. Mm. He could be in on it. What if he won't post my letter? Then don't make it look like it's one of yours. Here, let me do it. <laughs> Miss Emily Hartwood, Dauphin Street, New Orleans. New Orleans. You don't have the number? I'm not sure the postman's gonna find it without... Jeremy? Where'd he go? Where you at, Jeremy? I'll just post it myself, then. <laughs> yeah, I'll just do that. I'll just take this letter downstairs to the clerk's office myself. Stair hall key. Uh-oh, Cassandra. I'm touching your typewriter. Oh, there was me assuming that was going to be the uh, the save. Okay, this is going to happen a lot in that house making creasy, creasing. Yeah, I clicked the wrong public thing. I don't know if, were you actually able to see it? And then did it go away or was it still there? I don't know how that works. Hopefully that doesn't mess up the analytics for the video. 
because I had the wrong thing clicked. Because the super easy A guide should go up later, but that's an interesting looking clock. Yeah, they are. Oh, good God. Oh, they got, they all moved. Cam, what, have you done? what has Jeremy done? Ugh. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck is that? So I can't go that way then. Um, there's a bear. What the fuck is this? Little girl, what are you doing? You crazy. a little quiet um yeah all i can really do is turn down the microphone sound then and you just have to turn the overall thing up but um audio input yeah i'll turn there i'll turn that down but yeah Didn't catch me doing this i just noped out of here already Don't fall in, little girl. I like how she's basically completely unfazed by all of this as well. <laughs> like everything turned into a flooded jungle hellscape and she's like, oh, Jeremy. <laughs> Can you not do that? Yeah, that's better. Oh, a little night music. Mr. Wait. Hello? Post my letter, you nerd. Oh, I'll just climb through the window. <laughs> Jeremy, you little rascal. <laughs> Alone in the dark. Wait, was that it? Because didn't you say doesn't the main game start with them getting out of the car? We were too late. The house looked different, but it was still called Dorsetta. It's definitely a weird place. Feels like I've been here before. I just can't think why. Let's not waste any time, Detective. Yeah. Oh yeah, typical new game thing. I don't know where we'll have to put the camera, but. It's here for now. Yeah, that took me 10 minutes. <laughs> All right, well. Alone in the dark. <laughs> well, Jeremy, that rascal. <laughs> Yeah, we just started, uh, Gleason, we just done the, uh... Maybe the foot was how long I had it open, how many pauses I needed because I was scared. <laughs> right, 
uh, master volumes on full, English, subtitles on. Yeah, sounds all good. Gameplay. Yeah, good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, new game. Combat. Easy, standard, hard. Start for hard, start on standard. Difficulty guidance. Modern, extra help provided to make the experience smoother and easier, including hints and helpful highlights. Old school. Yeah, old school. We go old school. Great, great asset to the company. Asset. Great, great, great asset to the company. Asset. Great, great asset. Yeah. Hey, shout out to Kay for the five pound super chat. I think I did actually play the Resident Evil Three remake um, on this. I did it on my Twitch only, I think. But I actually did play the Resident Evil Two and Three remakes. Alone in the dark. So, your uncle. What's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil? No, I didn't get a chance to watch it just before. I'll watch it afterwards. He says a dark man is following him. Watching him at all times. Is it a game or a movie? What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Movie. Oh, nice. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, <laughs> figuring he might stumble upon some cure. My headset's all tangled in itself. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to get him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Huh. Here we are. Hey, this looks familiar. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? Huh. I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. I, mean, I enjoyed all the Resident Evil remakes. Played four on the main that? on this channel as well. Yeah. Uh, you think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. Mm. What exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Edward Carnby. Emily Hartwood. I mean, I'm playing as David Harbour, obviously. Hello? Hello? It looks abandoned. It can't be. There has to be someone around. Well, there's some weird critters, we know that. I'll go around back. Chapter one. Okay, so straight away, that needs to move up slightly. Yeah. 
stop or I'll shoot. Look for a way inside the house. Oh, look how sensitive the PlayStation triggers are. Can I run? Okay, yeah, click the stick to run. Can I push into this? I can! Look at those real physics. Uh, right. So... Can I have this? I can have and this. What do we got here? Oh, yes. Classic Silent Hill style. The front pocket light. Yeah, love to see that. The kitchen garden key. Nice. All right. Good start. What the fuck? Is that a rat in that bit? Look at those little rat eyes looking at me. Probably. And now they're gone. I don't know how I feel about that. Is that a person? No, oh, that's a statue. Nah, I'm not getting in there. Nah. Fucking birds. There's something behind there. What is it? Hmm. Hmm. Something in a bucket. Do I need to get like a stick or a hook or something? Let's have a little look around. Birds, man. <laughs> Birds, stop trying to scare me. And succeeding. Huh? Is someone in this tree? Or is the tree just talking at me? One big tree that belongs at our observatory. Who goes there? Who's in that tree? Maybe someone is the tree. I mean, it could be the tree talking to me. That is true. Stranger things have happened. <gasps> Bullets! Hey, shout out to Katie great, Louise great for the five super chat. Asset. This game takes me back when I played it. That's why I was watching Paranormal TV. Yeah, I never played. There's like a really old one that they did like a remake on the 360, but it was like more of an action game. Because the original original is super old and has like blocky, like almost like PS1 era graphics like characters. Because even before then. But I can't go up here, can I? Because it's just shit all over the stairs here. Yeah. I need the key. Okay. So there's nothing else in here then. Unless there's there's nothing I missed, right? I was thinking, can I shoot there? I probably am not supposed to shoot those, right? I don't know. Shoot those down. Don't want to waste bullets though if you can't actually do that. Alright, so.
Is there something out here I need to get? thing there. <laughs> A drink. Well, this is where I came from originally, right? So... I can't go back out there. Okay. So, as of yet, there is nowhere else to go. Can't climb up there. something in here that I would quite like but hey shout out to bringer for the uh, gifted membership I appreciate you shout out to you. shout outs to the boy bringer down thank you for the support uh, where the f did I miss something in here then I must have missed something in here then, surely. Yeah, that nearly blew my head off. Yeah, so how? what is the sound like then? Is the game sound too high or... Because if there's going to be big loud crashes, then I can put my mic volume up. <laughs> Streamlabs is way too loud. So the game is too loud. Oh, the git. Oh, right, right. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to make those not loud. Are they desktop? I think they might be desktop audio. Oh, no, wait. That, you have to do that in Streamlabs. Uh, wait, I do have the dashboard up here. Alert box. Uh, general settings. There isn't one for, for uh, members. I just have to do uh, super chat. I'll put it down to it was on fifty percent. I'll put it down to thirty. Oh, the members was higher as well. Members was on sixty. Right. Hopefully that'll be a bit better. Combat is a bit buggy, got stuck and had to reload already. Oof. Yeah, so there's got to be something I'm missing in here, right? Like... Because there isn't anywhere else to go. Come around the edge. I did look around the tree. How am I this confused already? That's just the door with the key, which I don't have, right? Yeah, because mm. I don't have anything to I select. I'm 
these arm doors. kitchen garden door key i mean i thought i did right didn't i use it already on a different door or did i wait did i actually not did i just not pick it up for some reason i thought already, i thought i've already used it maybe if i'd left the modern hints on it would have told me what to do maybe but maybe i didn't i thought i picked it up let me go back and check it was where the torch was wasn't it can't you imagine if i just actually hadn't picked it up No, it wasn't in here. It was in the other one. But yeah, it came up on the screen, so... Yeah, I picked it up. And then, didn't you use it to open, like... Do I have, my, do I have an inventory? Yeah, maybe. No, it's probably not my inventory. But... Oh, I always dodge. Mm, then I'm confused too. Well, that's a good start. What happened to my key that I thought I had? Yeah, I mean, I definitely picked up a key at the beginning, but... Just save it whenever. Okay. All right, let's save it. So we go in here. We get a torch. Then we get a flashlight. We get a kitchen garden key. So what happened is I pressed a button before. I think I pressed like O or something. But does that just mean he just didn't actually pick it up? Because you're supposed to, I think you're supposed to press X. But instead I pressed circle. But then when I came back in here, like, it wasn't there to be picked up again. So, that just made the game break, apparently. Because, yeah, look, you have to use this to go in here. Which I thought I did, right? Yeah, you have to. So, I must have picked it up when we came through here the first time. Because you have to use it to open that door. Let me go through here. Go in here. And yeah, that key's gone because it's not, we've already used it. So I'm, I'm basically back where I was a minute ago now, but that's it. There's one somewhere. <laughs>
All right, well, there's a key somewhere. Yeah, there's a spot in the corner by the statue. There's like a hole in the floor with something down in the hole, but you need like an item or something to get to. Oh, what's that? Wow. How did I not see that come up before? <laughs> thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Survival horror expert over here. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. That definitely wasn't that definitely wasn't there before it glitched okay and we can all agree it glitched on the first save file it just that key just wasn't there so i had to restart it completely legitimate i had to restart i had no choice every day your silence weighs a little heavier oh. it's been a difficult year for everyone and many have lost all hope i read in the papers about people suffering pictures of dust covered landscapes without a drop of water I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had turned your back against us I have started to look for help elsewhere I pray you will tell me if I'm going down a path that you find disagreeable with help from Batiste and Charlotte I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo the voodoo. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of gris gris. Small Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French court of priestess tells me it's all connected. She says... The Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our heaven. She says, Mr. Hartwood, we will sing your praises at St. John's. Is that how's the, the sound things this time? To your <laughs> Maybe it is the test of audio then. Earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. How's that? Say the sound. One more. Black cat oil, dalatifi. Devil shoe strings, a quarter. That makes two like dollars and seventy five cents. A goat without horns. What's that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, oh, you not. must have misheard me, madam. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. <laughs> I'm ready to do what it takes. Mm, do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Oh, please, leave my store. A goat without horns. My immersion is broken. Shout out to Katie Louise for the five uh, gifted memberships. Uh, King Charles Lazarus, Brandon, General Brash, and Blaze King. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, right. Interesting. That's cool, though, that the files get read out, because I do have a habit. I mean, I do it for the stream, but, like, I, I have a habit of just skim reading the files really quickly. Um, but I know, like, obviously some people enjoy the experience of having all of the lore which is you know normally if i was playing a game by myself i would sit and read all the files so i quite like the fact that they're read out by the characters that wrote them seemingly it's pretty cool and there was a few little extra bits at the end as well that weren't written down so by not just skim reading and skipping over it we got a little bit of extra find a lot of bullets uh something in this cupboard bullets <laughs> god this kitchen is well stocked with bullets plenty of ammo about oh a chest another drink some pigs 
Is that a chocolate bar? Oh, rat poison. It's a la lagniappy. Non-essential items you can find throughout the game. Completing sets will uncover forbidden knowledge and sometimes even more. Give me the meat cleaver. What the heck is a laganape? Yeah, very different to a chocolate bar. Oh, some sets can't be completed without playing both Can't Be and Emily's campaign. So you do have to play both of them. So it's kind of like the classic Resident Evil, like players, Chris, players, Jill kind of thing. That's cool. Oh, do I, am I meant to go that way? You know how we do. We always got to go the wrong way first. Weird little... Oh. God, then go upstairs. There's a door here. Oh, God. Sabotage. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. Interesting. Have you not tried bullet souffle? It's to die for. I hear it's explosive. It's a bit powdery for my liking. But I suppose I could give it a shot. Will it not let me do that until I've got the other bits or something then? Or Cause that's clearly a puzzle. That doesn't make sense. Oh, I can't walk past this then, I guess. Or can I? Nope. Nope! <laughs> Shoot it! <laughs> Bullets and rat poison in the kitchen. Yeah, if this was Kitchen Nightmares, Gordon Ramsay would be going crazy. Right, well, I probably have to go upstairs, I would guess. So I'm going to go the other way first, see what was in here. Yeah. Didn't read that. But yeah, we were trying to figure out how you pronounce that word. Because we did kind of guess you might have to play as both of them to do every, like the whole story and everything. So yeah, certain of the collectibles you'll only be able to get in her game. Hmm. I need a key. Another lock gate. That's fine. Streetcar ticket. Was it named Desire? We'll never know. Right. Off we go. Hundred percent. I'll finish it tonight. <laughs> You're just gonna stay up all night playing it, aren't you? Uh, right. Well, first door. Let's try this. Uh, it's locked. Hmm. I need the key. I need the key. Hmm. I need the key. I need the key. A map. Give me that. Hell yeah. Uh, the piazza key. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. Locked medicine box. It doesn't open with the piazza key. I'm full. Full of drink. Lottie's diary. I spent all day looking for Jerry. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Google says it's pronounced Lanyap. didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around. So the box is just sitting there on the desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one label. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. 
that dog of his found a strange rock permeating the house. She's showing us, he said, like those blocks and streaks of fetid rot was talking to her. Shout out to uh, Bringer for another gifted membership. I appreciate you, my dude. Shout out to Rockstar101 for receiving the membership. Enjoy the emotes and such what. Alright, so we have a key. But which doors is it going to be for? Can I zoom in on the map? Nope. There you go. I'm up here. Shut up, cards. Oh. No, this room looks familiar, but drier than the last time I saw it. I need the key. I need the key. Hey, thanks, Straw Hat. <laughs> uh, what is this? The Picayune Post. The Great Depression. President Hoover raises tariffs on over 20,000 imported goods. His accents are great. To protect American labor. Following the collapse of the Wall Street stock market on October 24 last year, American industry has suffered greatly. Thousands of companies have gone bankrupt and left a large part of the American workforce unemployed. In an attempt to turn the tide, the Smoot-Hawley Tariff Act has been signed by President Herbert Hoover. By regulating commerce with foreign countries, the government hopes to encourage the industries of the United States to compete with cheap foreign imports. Superstition on Rise New Orleans voodoo stores and spiritual mediums see increased profit during troubled times. While the market has faced hard times ever since Black Thursday of last year, voodoo doctors and snake charmers see significant rise in number of customers. With the coming eve of St. John on the 23rd, the police expect increased cult activity around Bayou St. John, the southern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. Voodoo rituals in that area on the eve of St. John have a long tradition reaching back to the first snake worshippers brought as slaves from West Africa. During the 19th century, its practice was popularized by the legendary Marie Laveau and has since been embraced by many of the Creoles and the surviving aristocracy of the French Quarter. Mm -hmm. Author seeks asylum. Rumors regarding author Cassandra Beauregard making Dorsetto her home verified. That's where we are. Dorsetto Hospital is an old plantation building on the eastern shores of Lake Pontchartrain. While often considered an asylum for the insane, residing Dr. Elmore Lee Gray prefers to think of it as a convalescent home, a place where you can go to rest. The patient list is kept secret, but thought to include many of the black sheep of wealthy families, hmm. because at Dorsetto, Treatment does not come for free. Local author Cassandra Beauregard has now been confirmed by her own admission. She's been lauded as a powerful Creole voice and written many successful books. Lately, it was reported from Hollywood that she has finished a moving picture manuscript titled Slaughter Gulch. That film is set to hit the theaters next year. Thanks. This place looks familiar. Rubber stamp. Hmm. I need the key. I think it's just, I think that symbol just means it's blocked on the other side, right? A classic survival horror trope. You'll love to see it. Okay, so nothing I can do in here without a key. Uh, that's the door I came from, wasn't it? So.
She's not taking long enough. Doing? Who are you? Whoa, pardon me. Excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind. We let ourselves inside. I do mind. Huh? This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Who is your uncle, darling? Well, she's not Jeremy. dead, Ben. Am I right? She has that. Heartwood bloom, doesn't she? That's right. Is there people I here all of a sudden? <laughs> I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. He will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hotwood? My name's Edward Carnby, private investigator. Splendid. Enough! All of you, get back to your rooms. McCarthy, keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave immediately. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, right? Wait, mm -hmm. you can't. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. Yeah, what, we can't hear anyone knocking in the anymore. Corridor, it's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Excellent. Thank you, madam. Oh, those statues are creepy. I hope they don't move at all. Let's look around, see if we can dig up any clues. I love digging up clues. Oh. Why won't it let me do the puzzle? Oh, you have to get another piece. But you need to have a piece missing to do those puzzles. Otherwise they don't work. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. This is five pages. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity. Staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarraway. Would I find you there, Juan? Or well, Senora Perosi? Five important pages that will help us on our quest. Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Scenes conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Senor. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulcher where you may rest and I shall weep. Uh, oh. How did you first come to understand such things, Senora? How did you know that the battered boil in the basement would lead me to Lafayette Cemetery? Or how the old upstairs clock with its astronomical motifs would take me to that hateful mound outside of Claremont Harbor? Those are my memories, my past. Is there perhaps a chance, if ever so small, for me to see Terra Wea? I want that more than anything. Please, let my talisman take me there. Let me sit with Juan under his Bodhi tree. 
despite having sold me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess, revealed none of her secrets to me. That's why I had to travel to Tonka. Instead, she cruelly told Baptiste, my caretaker, that he would be betrayed and killed in the most awful way. That the one he loved would pierce his thigh with a sharp spear and that he would be devoured by his own mother. What a terrible thing to say. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, shout out to K. Louise, the five uh, super chat. RE2 is my favorite because of Mr. X, or as people call him Tyrant. Yeah, I remember when RE2 first came out on the original PS1 version, there was nothing in the game that said his name. But the um, when he got dropped into the police station, it was from a canister that said T103. So everyone just used to call him Tyrant 103 back when I literally first played Resi 2 on the PS1, which was uh, very cool. Uh, and shout out to Bringer for another gifted membership. I appreciate you, my dude. Uh, shout out to Deshaun Strickland for receiving the membership. Enjoy the emotes and such. The people of Deseto were becoming dangerous. They do not understand what they the are picture. doing. I must do something to stop them. I tried talking to Dr. Gray, but he confuses my worries. He's caught up in treating me. How can he expect evil to be cured with medicine and conversation? The orderlies, the housekeeper, and the patients are all deranged. They will call upon evil to enter this world. Mm -hmm. All would be lost. Everything. Unless I can find the clerk, Mr. Waite. He seems to be a clear-thinking man. Maybe Beauregard. Beauregard is a great name. The dark man offered me a prison, and I accepted I signed that miscarried contract and entered the dark path. Uh -huh. Everyone is safe, except for me. Uh -huh. Hey. these things. I mean, I'm a genius, so it's fine. Hey, you know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. Wow, so smart. Oh, help me out here, will you? the guy throw some of this stuff out I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around oh wow that's striking Jesus I want to save this one. All right, come on. I want to go see Dr. Gray. Mm. Dark Souls Arc Thro Arch Thrones. Yeah, I saw someone posting about that. That's things Come from on, Dark Souls go. 1 to 3, Demon Souls yeah, and Elden Ring. It's a mod though, isn't it? I don't have any of those games on PC. No. Miss Hartwood. Oh, she gone. Emily? Rut roll. Oh, 
Royal Reggie. I wasn't, but I'm excited to play from her side. Yeah, it'd be cool to see, like, what's going on. It's like in the Resident Evil games when the characters, you play as the two characters and then they sometimes cross paths. And then it's interesting to see, like, what they've been doing during those sections where they then get separated again. What is occurring? More bullets. Oh, Jesus. No, I'll just go back in here. <gasps> what the fuck is that? Ah! ah! There's one hiding around the corner. Fuck me. Get out of my face. Oh no, I missed. I missed again. I missed multiple times. <laughs> oh, the, the the sensitivity on the thing is way higher than I expected it to be. Ah. I thought I just did that, but okay. Yeah, there's aim. I need to turn the aim sensitivity down because it's. Oh my god. Now you're on the trolley. Oh my god. Yeah, let me go uh, controls. Aim sensitivity down. Okay, that's better. Yeah, that was too uh, too all over the place for my liking. Did <laughs> my map is of no use here. <laughs> he wants to bet the sensitivity isn't the problem. Well, I guess we'll find out now that I've changed it. I could pick from a list of excuses. I could blame the PlayStation controller next. I can't go that way. I'm getting some more bullets though. I like the fact the game now tells you how to sprint. Like, 40 minutes in. Well. I am stuck. Like, I actually can't move. Oh, oh, good. Game broken. I am stuck. Cool. can't go that way. Wait, were there no bullets? Oh, there was just no bullets in there this time. So that's so the stuff in the containers is random then. Cuz there were bullets in there last time. What the hell is going on? Let's not step on the cursed flower box again, then. Oh, 
Well, this is the corner store. I didn't think it was. <laughs> the rooting presence. Don't let them get inside, Carver. They're not the good guy. Are you? Is this your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in Jeremy's store. Jeremy did this. How? A pact with the dog man. Jeremy warned us, but we didn't think much of it. Hmm. I'm Detective Edward Carnby. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh, yeah? How much you paying you? $150. <laughs> She's sure getting her money's worth tonight. Are you a thinking man, Carnby? No, not if I can help it. You know, I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace that guides him. The talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got from Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess? You know surprising things, compare. Yeah, the mama lower. Here, take the key. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you can find some clues to show you the way. Thanks. Know. I'll have a look. Thank you, giant man. Preserved reptile. Yum. You want to come along? Nah, I'm going to stay here for a while. Well, okay. You stay here for a while. I can't go that way. Hello. Oh God, that thing looks horrible. Even more so than the last thing. A pipe. Hmm. Oh, shit. Huh. Oh, I misread that. It's hold our weapon. It takes. Oh, no. It broke. I broke it on his face. <laughs> Items can be thrown at enemies or used to distract them. Well, I mean, I broke my pipe, so... Oh. Where did that thing even go? Well, that didn't go where it was meant to, did it? I mean, does that thing even have a head? Like...
Oh. Ah. Oh, that doesn't heal you very much, does it? Can't go that way. I've got a hatchet though now. Yeah, Rado has a gun. things. Ah! I don't have any more melee weapons. Oh, thank God. That was my last bullet. Well, I'm unarmed. Juju. That's not a weapon. Okay, good. Jackson's seance parlor. Let's see if she's got any information. Huh? It's the talisman, like the one in the painting. Talisman. Numbers. The engraving of the numbers looks to be less than 100 years old, but the base could be from antiquity. The polished black sunstone in the middle has a glass finish and occasionally gives the impression of hiding a picture within itself. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. You should have. You should have taken that into account. <laughs> I need more. More! I think it's meant for the talisman. Oh, God. I 
think it needs numbers, like coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. I mean, there was, I'm sure, but let me look around first. Hello. <laughs> I mean, I'm pressing X, but nothing is happening. door just broken or uh, so where were That one in the top corner, so it's like three, five, so like eight at the top. Can't really tell. Oh, switch disc. Oh, God. Oh god, this is going to be interesting. How do you do that and then... Oh god. Okay, I don't get that at all. Is the camera covering something? Uh, there's whatever that thing is on the side, like a pocket watch type thing. So the discs, you've got the top one is eight. Then there's a three directly underneath. And then five. So eight at the top, three at the bottom. And then five. So eight at the top. Three at the bottom is that right eight is at the top yeah five is there but that's the outer numbers oh okay well apparently i just did it by accident it's showing something a place where is that huh Detective, I was wondering when you were going to show up. <laughs> Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. I understand you are working for Jeremy Hartwood's niece. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, you're not wrong. We came here for her uncle. I just didn't expect... I didn't expect this. You are Dr. Gray, right? That's right. You don't happen to have some identification, Detective. 
I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. Oh, Detective Edward Carnby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. Enjoying the view carré, Detective? Those old French quarters, the voodoo people, the gangsters. I'm sure you live an exciting life. Well, that's not quite like the stories, Doc. Just trying to make a living. Aren't we all making a living? Well, welcome to DeSeto, <sighs> Detective. I hope your time here will be useful. Now, what can I do for you? Well, why don't you tell me where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? <laughs> why wouldn't that make for a short visit? <laughs> I wish I could tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know. I shout K for the a five. Drink, detective? Only in the dark is me the evil vibes. Yeah, it's oh, very classic survival horror. Detective. Armagnac or cognac? You know, just give me the cheap stuff. I'm not much of a connoisseur. <laughs> Having low standards is not a virtue, detective. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. What can you tell me about Jerry? I wouldn't want to go into details about his condition. Doctor, patient, confidentiality. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you understand. Mm -hmm. Sure. But he is crazy. And he's gone missing. Why? Here. Try this. Ooh, it's good. It's got a bite. <laughs> it's called a side. The trick is not to be afraid of the tartness of the lemon. Then, for goodness sake, don't overdo the triple sec. Okay, what can you tell me about Jeremy? Ah, oh, well, let me think. He is an anxious man, constantly worried about events not presenting themselves according to his model of predestination. He complains about things not being carried out in the right order and that some things simply shouldn't be. Is any of this helpful to you? Uh, not really. Uh, I was hoping for some direction where to look next. I'm sorry. I have nothing for you then. You should talk to my orderlies. They have been looking for him for a while now. I'm sure they would appreciate your help. Yeah, I ran into Batiste earlier. Come to think of it, he... He might have given me a lead. Oh, excellent. So your investigation is already underway. I'm gonna go, but I'm sure we'll meet again. Looking forward to it. Safe returns. Uh, yeah, Paul, how's it going? Oh, chapter two. Well, I'm doing well so far. The Detective Carnby. accuracy of an expert marksman. Where did you go? I was just talking to Dr. Gray. You disappeared. No, it's not what you think. Have you... Have you found anything strange going on here? Yes. Everyone is being incredibly evasive and I can't <laughs> figure out why. Without. No, I mean something you can't explain. Paranormal. Detective? I really need you to get yourself together. I can't do this alone. Forget it. I'll figure it out. Do you want to come see Dr. Gray? No. I want to I want to try something. With this talisman, I think I can follow Jeremy to the place he mentioned in the book. What was the name? Do you remember something Spanish? Tarawea. Yeah, that's where I need to go. Detective? Are you going to be all right? Yeah. Of course. Go talk to Dr. Gray. We'll rendezvous later. <laughs> this talisman brought me back from the French Quarter in the blink of an eye. If Jeremy can travel so easily, then he could be hiding anywhere. Even Teroea. If he can do it, so can I. I just need to figure out how the talisman works. Hmm. Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. They have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. 
right now it's important that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I mm. want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Tell Lottie to take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Accounting and all administrative work is handled by me, Paul Waits. Magdalena Thompson, or Mags, is responsible for the household. Jean-Baptiste and Charlotte Tabois are responsible for keeping the guests' medical regiments in check. Finally, Jack Chance is our gardener, who can occasionally be seen in the conservatory, but is, for the most part, busy outside. There are currently six guests at Dosetto. Malcolm McCarthy and Ruth Talant reside on the first floor. Jeremy Hartwood, Elisabetta Perosi, Grace Saunders, and of course, Cassandra Beauregard live on the second floor. Mm -hmm. Room key number six. Rorschach test. Patient files. Oh god, there's so many of them. Cassandra Beauregard, the beloved author. Very exciting, isn't it? What do you want to put down for reason for admission? What her agent told us. Cassandra suffers from writer's block and needs to finish her moving picture script before the end of June. Mr. Chardot suggests Cassandra's heavy use of barbiturates is holding her back and risks ruining her career. And how should we summarize her personal history? Let's keep it short. Cassandra Beauregard is a beloved crime author who managed to pull herself out of poverty and into stardom. Five years ago, she tried killing herself by jumping off a balcony. The incident left her a cripple and now relies heavily on her wheelchair. And for diagnostic impressions? Cassandra suffers chronic back pain following her suicide attempt. She self-administers morphine to keep herself ambulant, but has become addicted and the desired effect is now lost. The drug abuse clouds her mind and she is unable to focus on real life. To save herself from this insight, she instead makes up stories to fill out the gaps in her own thought process, resembling the Korsakoff syndrome. Hmm. Bravo, Doctor. How will you treat her? First of all, she needs to be weaned from her drug addiction, and hopefully it will resolve her compulsive lying. Then look into permanently numbing her pain in her back through surgery. Finally, deal with her suicidal thoughts. Fantastic. With such a short time before June, I really hope she gets better soon. We will do what we can. Grace Saunders, 11 years old. Reason for admission? The mother insists on strict supervision by a proper gentleman to avoid further perversion of Grace's adolescence. Personal history? Grace's family possesses modest wealth and status. Her childhood seems ordinary, spending most of her time with private teachers and family friends. Grace's father recently passed away, leaving her mother the sole caregiver. And diagnostic impressions? Grace has trouble dealing with her father's death. She is willingly suppressing her feelings on the matter and isn't properly acknowledging the trauma she suffered. Any mm. planned treatment? Grace needs nothing out of the ordinary. She simply needs parental guidance. Eventually, we can work on her feelings toward her father. Thank you, Doctor. I'll finish the paperwork and get her installed. Malcolm McCarthy, 54 years of age. Reason for admission? McCarthy admitted himself to Dosetto, stating simply that he needs some damn rest. And personal history. McCarthy claims he used to work as a lawyer in Baton Rouge, but says he can't go into details because of some legal dispute. Huh. His background remains largely a mystery, except for the occasional clue that he drops in conversation. Huh. And diagnostic impressions. McCarthy is an anxious man and an alcoholic. He often tells half-truths due to some deep-seated inability to trust other people. And how will you treat that? 
McCarvey will take some time to open up. Spending time with Jack's dog or the child should be good for him. Their harmless nature will help build his sense of trust. Thank you, Doctor. Oh, the law. Elisabetta Perosi, 33 years old? What should I put down as reason for admission? Well, Perosi broke into Dorsetto and was found wandering the grand parlor. She was confused and suffered partial amnesia. She insisted she belonged here and offered to pay for her stay. Hmm. Right. What do you make of her story? Perosi claims to have been a member of the Astarte artist colony some 20 years ago. A claim that seems contrafactual due to her young age. She looks to be and even thinks she is 33 years of age. That would make her a child at the time. It seems fair to say that Perosi's story is untrue. Deliberately so or not. Diagnostic impressions? Do you have anything? Perosi's story is peculiar because she retracted her story about the artist colony. She no longer claims to be the same person as Elisabetta Perosi. However, my staff's research has confirmed there was a Perosi at that time who was in her early 30s. I suppose this case will take some time to investigate. How will you go about it? I wanted to contact the real Perosi, but it seems the whole colony disappeared one night. Mm. September 29th, 1915, during a hurricane. I will have to take it slow and figure out what this spell of impersonation could have been. Oh, I'm sure it will all clear up eventually. Thank you, Doctor. Um, Ruth Talon, 29 years of age. Reason for admission? Uh, Ruth's father wishes that his daughter be removed from New Orleans nightlife for the foreseeable future. Huh. He fears that her overly free spirit is tarnishing the family's reputation. Sounds simple enough. Personal history? Ruth comes from considerable wealth. Her family owns several hotels and restaurants. Unlike the rest of the family, her sense of adventure has taken her around the world, including France during the Great War as a photojournalist. The last decade, she has provoked many rumors of being a debauched flapper, huh? bordering on nymphomania. And diagnostic impression? Despite her father's frivolous reasons for her... Yeah, Jade has a gun. Ruth There's a mention of the dog. I didn't meet the dog. <laughs> she is refreshingly open and doesn't shy away from talking about her life during the war or her continuous celebration after returning to the States. She is admittedly a sexual deviant and feels no remorse. And her treatment plan? Simply staying at Dorsetto should do wonders for Ruth. If not, at least for her family's reputation. Ruth doesn't need to change, but with therapy, I might be able to share with her some sympathy towards her family. I doubt she will settle down and become as dull as the rest of them, but at least she might try to be more discreet in the future. Looks like all the patients are accounted for, except for Jeremy. There's no way I can get into this thing. Better leave it alone. Try to find the combination somewhere. I saw you notice in the boiler room. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but you can take a valve from the wine cellar if you wanna try to stop the steam from pouring out. Be careful. From the wine cellar, eh? I need the key. Well, it's not one of those. I wish you could zoom into the map, though.
looks like some kind of rot. This must be the clock that Jeremy wrote about in the class. Looks like the plate that held the talisman in the seance room. But it's broken and missing something. Yeah, uh, sorry, detective. Didn't mean to obstruct justice or anything. That's fine. You know, I'm kind of busy with my own case of a missing person. I was wondering if you've seen Grace, a girl about yay high. Can't say that I have. Why are you asking? Well, I'm looking for her. Is she in trouble? No, 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 no. Uh, she's just hiding somewhere. Huh. We can't have a rascal like that running around unchecked at a time like this, you understand? Well, I haven't seen her. Well, let me know if you find her. I'll be around. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for your man, Jeremy. You scratch my back, detective, and I'll scratch yours. <laughs> Is he, uh, is he streaming or just posted on Twitter, the summons? Hey, Daniel, how's it going? Looks like everything's back to normal here. Here. Amazing. I mean, it's probably better than I could do, so. Yeah, Minato stole it. That makes sense. I mean, I got two copies in the end, but. Of course, there's just nothing in there. Why you. Took my minion to prove it. <laughs> that is a work of art, to be fair. A fountain pen. Okay. <laughs> damn right. You damn right. That was just a guess that this was huh. the room number six. How eccentric. What are these symbols? Looks like alchemy or star constellations. Hey, look, it's me. What? You may need to remember how to get them out again. They are locked up for good reason. I am sure she is still able to whisper the answer in the ears of the wrong people. But not for long. I will see her burned soon enough. That black goat will be sacrificed to put an end to it all. Then it will all be over. Mm. No more Derseto, and sadly no Astarte. Those good pirates of Poncha train. May you still sail the lake. Until you find the shores of Hali. So one ten eleven. But the Astarte Artist Colony. I remember hearing about their disappearance. Must have been fifteen years or more now. Oh God. These paintings got some grim looking rot on them.
Say that, prof. Right, so there's a combination lock with three random symbols on it. Then there's pictures of these people with their names and numbers. Then this thing had, where is it? One, ten, eleven. I'm not sure what the relevance of that is because there isn't eleven people on here. So their names are on there. And that's these people. What has that got to do with anything? Oh. I did it! I crossed the thresholds to my intended destination without a focusing device. My talisman now knows these roads, and I have no need for the plates. I can find my way to Lafayette as easy as I find my own room. I visited the grave of my father and seen the oven waiting for me. Thank you for opening these doors. I now must summon my courage and go back to that hateful mound outside the oil rig. I hope you'll be feeling better when I return. Jeremy. That's right. If you want hints, yeah. Although, so how would I know? Oh, wait, hang on. Is it just... Okay, so it's not that they're... It's not that the 1, 10, and 11 are specific. Or that they're important. It's more that it's the, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like, going round. Yeah, see, that pattern doesn't line up with the wall. That one kind of does. Yeah, that's fair. There's quite a few people that like to just lurk in the chat. Uh, we see a lot of people sometimes when memberships get gifted and their names I don't recognise. Doesn't matter as much about them lining up. Those ones do line up. That one kind of does. But yeah, if it doesn't matter. So those are those three. So William Franklin, 
ignore. Wait, so are the numbers are the numbers on their names not important then? No wait. So it's like the backward C's, yeah, the back, so the backward C's, the Libra, which is like this bubble with a line underneath, and then circle with horns. Yeah. Nice. Huh? Oh no, it's changed again. Genius. I'm trying not to look at the chat too much because I don't I don't want hints for the puzzles unless I like specifically say. So if I'm saying like, oh I don't know what to do, it's kind of like rhetorical until I actually am like, okay, seriously, what do I do? Kind of thing. Oh. Those things actually hurt me. It's gone back to normal. What happened? Everything's normal again? Right. Well, we don't like that. So... Yeah, wait, what? <laughs> I still need another one. I need the key. Okay. All right, well, we've done this bit up here. I'm not going to walk out of this now. I need to help Emily save her uncle. I, I didn't mean to walk that close to the door. <laughs> The fuck was that? Nope. Oh. Yes, yeah, unless it's kind of unnecessary. A bit weird. Last plantations, Last plantations of, Louisiana. of Louisiana. Thierry Bridlow, 1917. Oh no, it's another long one. Yes, was a small plantation on the eastern shore. Strap in, boys and girls. The story time. The land was considered difficult for industry and was sold for only $30 to Elia Pickford in 1818. Pickford employed hundreds of workers from nearby New Orleans to clear the woods and build a small plantation mansion facing the lake with a striking Greek revival temple facade. Desetto kept a modest production of Perique tobacco and indigo that persisted up till the Civil War. During the antebellum era, Desetto was the source of many rumors concerning voodoo and witchcraft. People who traveled the lake reported seeing people dance at night in front of bonfires, bleating and wailing. On June 17, 1862... Yeah, it's good Captain so far, Gleason. Norton, Enjoying Indian it. Army recounts leading a raiding party from ships anchored in Lake Pontchartrain. Found a couple of puzzles, shot some things, shot some walls. 
The captain was surprised to find the workers fighting back with unprecedented zeal. Norton's account describes these men and women as enraged with fanaticism. Pickford reportedly tried to placate the raiders, but was shot in the confusion. Captain Norton left the mansion burning and retreated to his ships with his men. Hmm. Their settle was left in ruins for several decades. The ownership of the land was long disputed and returned to the Ledoux family in 1901. Several police reports were filed during the following years as the Ledoux tried to get rid of a camp of squatters on their land. The police made several visits to remove the trespassers, but the people kept returning. On November 1st, 1907, Inspector Legras of the police charged a deadly attack in order to save several children kidnapped by the squatters. Oh, God. Many were killed, and even more were jailed. The following year, Ledoux rebuilt Deserto, incorporating the surviving stone foundation and adding a magnificent wrought iron conservatory. The farmland had been reclaimed by the surrounding woods, so it was no longer profitable to use as a plantation. Hmm. Instead, the house was turned into an artist's colony. The Astarte Artist Colony was a successful group of artists, including figures such as Mida Wally, Mike, we'll target on it, yeah. and poet Noraki. The group was also known for their beloved Mardi Gras crew, called the Pirates of Pontchartrain. On September 29th, 1915, a tropical hurricane tore through Louisiana, causing Lake Pontchartrain to flood New Orleans. Due to the remote location of their settle, it took almost two weeks for outsiders to learn that the artist's colony was abandoned. Uh. The 12 residing artists had all vanished without a trace. The empty mansion of their settle still stands on the shore of Lake Pontchartrain with much of its temple facade intact. The Ledoux family currently has no intention of repairing the house. But then they did. A gun. Give me that. Do I need to have something to like break the glass or something? It's wedged shut. Jesus. Yeah, I, I also I lost the original recording of it. What the hell I was going to get someone to edit it for me, and they're taking forever and haven't gone back to me about what's going on with it. And unfortunately, to be honest, since the anniversary ca uh, content came out, um, like the Fusion Zamasu event, like is just not something people care about anymore. So unfortunately, the time window for it to have been like a good video has probably passed. Unfortunately. It's like Alan Wake all over again. Finally got some bolt cutters. Got it. A hose. Okay. Okay. Also, 
It wasn't there before, was it? So it's a shortcut now, I guess. I don't have to attach... Oh, I do have to attach it to this. I thought the same when I picked them up. Yep. Wait. Oh, it, is, it is going around to, all the way around to here, though. Surely I would have had to have gone over here to do it, but... Hmm. Right. Hey! Look at that. Where was there? Oh, hang on. Is it? Where did I find another drink that I couldn't pick up, like, early on? I'm pretty sure there was one. Because it wasn't, it wasn't here, was it? Because there was... <gasps> yeah, that was just one I could pick up straight away. Somewhere like in here, maybe, or something. One of the early places I went to. Oh, I can't even go in there anymore, so. It's in Lottie's room. Uh, I don't know. Let's go back. I guess the only place we really can go now is go back this way. room is this way apparently so that was the library that's where I went before check these other rooms locked medicine box yep there we go there was one in here Thank you. Little blue. Nurse's watch. There's another lanyape or whatever they're called. Can't go in there. Wait, what's that? Is that the oh that's the it's blocked symbol. Did I go up here before? I've been up to the third floor. It's wedged shut. Wedged shut. Private, no entry. All right. Back to the clock then, because we've got the other piece. As soon as I remember how you get there. Which is the opposite way from the balcony thing. I think I've seen this somewhere. something in the commonplace book about this. Yep. 
So it's like an A, and then two lines going up to the side. Wait, is that not right? Or it looks right to me. All right, yeah, these bits don't match, do they? Oh yeah, there's a bit like sticking down off of there as well. Maybe it's that bit and that bit. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's just the annoying corner I bits. The clock broke. Or maybe it just stopped at a very precise place. Which is a no three four six. I still get very confused about like where the arrows are meant to be, but so is the bottom one the bottom one? So it should be there, or is it like that? Three, four, six. Yeah, it's the arrows on the outer edge. Okay. There's a picture in the black glass. It's showing me something. I get it slightly more now. <laughs> Outside Jeremy's room. Jeremy's memories. Ugh. Oh, God. Hateful mound. May 1923. Monday. All okay. Ready for delivery. Maintenance. Oil pump must be serviced. Any tampering causes large spills unless properly forestalled. Tuesday. Shipment delayed but delivered. Maintenance. Service bridge close to broken. <laughs> Wednesday. Prospectors reluctantly agreed to show the burial mound to Mr. Hotwood, the painter. He read about our finds in the papers. He means to return tomorrow and try to find a way inside. Thursday. Mr. Hotwood's efforts delayed. The workers seemed nervous about his presence. Mr. Hotwood promised not to return to the compound. Instead, he has taken up an offer by L'Officier, the riverboat captain. Hmm. He means to pilot him to the site tomorrow morning. Hopefully that's the end. Work can resume. Maintenance. The bridge from the oil tower to the bayou has collapsed. Sabotage suspected. Mm. This is the devil that guides us now. Hmm. My thoughts exactly. Oh, empty locker. Nice. One pistol bullets, two pistol bullets. Wait, that was just an empty draw. Oh good, more pistol bullets. That's, you know. 
You always gotta be wary in these games when they just start giving you loads of ammo. Wait, so was I supposed to go in here? Because there's a back door as well. Or was I supposed to go this way? Because I don't want to accidentally go the right way first. It's like Josh Cat. The devil. Assuming that I want to go that way because there's enemies that way, and that's why it's telling me that. So I'm gonna go check this other door. Oh, it's okay. locked anyway. Well, there you go. Was there one in here? No. Oh, there is bullets in there. being all sneaky. Yeah, it's a lot of bullets. Hmm. I got the J key. So many bullets. Also, right, oh, that's blocked. Oh, oh, that was just that door. Wait, so there just wasn't an enemy out here, despite they're giving me the hint. There's something missing. A crank of some kind, I imagine. bullets a pipe I'll take that that's just to jump down there right yeah I don't want to do that yet <laughs> what's that oh the bridge lever got it the fuck Drink. <clears throat> what the fuck? Get shot in your horrible looking face. Stop with the spookins. I 
another pipe. I already have a pipe. I can only have one pipe. I'll have to pipe up the next thing that uh, comes my way. Oh shit. Oh god, what was that? Get piped. Although the other pipe's up there, which that doesn't really help me now, does it? <laughs> oh wait, there's an axe. That <laughs> pipe down. Yeah, exactly. <gasps> it's an ore. Hell yeah. Or what? Yeah. <laughs> That's a shovel. Can you dig it, sucker? There's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. It's disappointing. Was there nothing in the things? How anticlimactic. Give me more stuff. I am rocking a shovel now, so you know. <laughs> Time you're holding the implements. Uh, there's another shovel. Get the other shovel. Yeah, get fucked. <laughs> I beat both of those guys to death and didn't lose any health. And I'll get my ore. Some items explode on impact. Oh god. Hey, so good oh, let's go. How's it going on the Twitch side? Yeah, I'll turn the Twitch chat with Prof mostly. True. Attack barricades. I just need something to break it. Hiya! Hiya! The thin veneer of civilization. Um. So yeah, I explored all of these bits, right? Okay. Bringer, how's it going on the Twitch side as well? Yeah. 
Yeah, eat all you little bitch. Gazing statuette. Can't turn the creepy music off though. That's a giant box and it had nothing in it. Bruh. So that was just for the collectible then, I guess. So I came from this way. There's a lot of uh, sounds. Drop on him with a cheeky surprise headshot. This place holding out on me. All I got was the four bullets that I used to kill that guy. Oh no. Oh, I thought I got stuck again. Wait, is there really nothing else in it? That's unfortunate. Huh. Huh. going on. Did I get my... Because I had an axe, didn't I? And then I found the first ore. Yeah, there we go. Axe! Pet that deer. Yeah, the Alan Wake vibes, I know. All the deer heads. <laughs> Bit late now. Wow. All of those other ones that I fought so far... Uh, like didn't do any damage to me while I was meleeing them and apparently that one hit me with his like tail whip thing uh, and just absolutely destroyed me wait so I still have the ore does that mean it did, like this is from right back when I first got over to this bit I need to try and remember to. I need to remember to save it because you can seemingly save it anywhere. Wow! I charged up a heavy attack and it didn't. Come again. All right, the collectibles just carry across save files, so it doesn't matter that I. Came back here. I did indeed die. You die, you die, you die. Oh, I just realised I haven't been paying attention to the time at all. It's like I normally do the late stream until ten, it's like twenty past ten. I wonder what the hell divers daily for today was. Uh right. Let me just go back in here and shoot this thing. Of course I missed that time. Oh my god. I 
accidentally set the house on fire. That went worse this time. <laughs> so you're fairly close to the end of this area now. Okay. I'll try and get... I'll try and get past that thing that killed me just now, at least. I'm sneaking. It's all gone horribly wrong. Oh no, there was another one of those. Okay. That didn't get me. so good at the sneaking apparently. set the entire place on fire. I didn't really mean to do that, but hopefully there wasn't anything uh, down there I really needed to pick up or anything, because I uh, set it all on fire.
Tough cloth, key item. Oh my goodness, on this. Yeah, come on, Carby. I'd rather fall to your death than go up in flames. Hell yeah, let's go. Geronimo! Look at that, he's such a badass. He held onto it with one hand so he could keep his hat on. One absolute legend. Did I have a melee weapon? Yeah, I did have a pipe. Priorities, it's a nice hat, true. Holy fuck! Oh god. Crazy shenanigans. Yeah, what the hell was wrong me to make that huge I'm thing? Like that. True. I'm armed. Get that thing out of my face. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm just a detective trying to find something called Tarawea. You after Jeremy too? Why? I'm working for his niece. She wants to make sure he's all right. He might be unharmed, but far from all right. He's a curse upon DeSetto. Oh, here we go again. Quiet. Hmm? Oh my god. Back here. Give me the shotgun. Stop teasing me. Ooh. But I want it. How do I get it? Shot. Wait, what was my new objective? Because... Look around a bit. What, in here or just around, around? Yeah, what was my objective now? Obsolete arms, or maybe it's not for you. Yeah. Uh. It was a book. Find Deserto's bar. Oh, yeah. I've got to find the boiler, which I, I already kind of know where it is because I did go there. Pallet knife. Well, thin enough to slide through the crack of a door, eh? Reflections on the Power of the Verb in Certain Texts by Juan Luis Jorge 
To act is in itself divine. Even the slightest movement of our hand is evidence of our soul in motion. Yet our free will is so easily overwhelmed by the dullness of everyday life. I can look. Our actions become rote and rigid, in spite of luxury and comfort. True divinity is found in the choice of leaving the stage where we all perform. People who discover this freedom unexpectedly will be struck by the terror of this revelation and become paralyzed, or worse, turn to suicide. However, if you are able to weather that storm, you will discover that there is a divine path beyond that fear. There is a chance to dismount your destiny and make something new. Something that hasn't been planned for or predestined. There is difficulty in explaining this type of acting as it transcends our everyday choices. This isn't some banal decision choosing one career over the other, or even who I should marry. Leaving the stage, no matter how, isn't a matter of course correction. It's a rejection of the story that the creator is telling. Oh, the sitting room key. Okay. Right, so I've got that thing now. It worked. Yeah, it did. Telescope. I don't think I have everything I need. Okay. That'll be a puzzle of some kind then. The Barlow Lens. Instructions. To double the magnification of your telescope, simply fit this Barlow Lens to your instrument. Then operate the fine tuners to adjust so the distance that. between your lenses. This is easily done while looking through your eyepiece. Simply search for a position where your picture is clear and appears flat. When correctly tuned, your telescope should present a clear picture with magnificent magnification. Oh, the cellar key. Dog collar? Don't mind if I do. Find oh I found a full set of one of the things this? apparently. Objectives investigate the small parlor. The gun in the parlor. Oh. Oh, it's just open now. Is that because I found all the pieces of the set? Now we're talking. Hell yeah, now we're talking. Wait, so how do I switch between the two? Oh, right, it's down on the D-pad. Hell yeah. Now we're cooking. Sure is. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, well, as much as I don't want to stop playing it, <laughs> I probably should stop playing it there. Um, we just got ourselves a shotgun. That's, uh, we've got some new clues. We've got some objectives to follow. We've got some new keys. Um, so, yeah, that is going to do it for part one of the new Alone in the Dark game. Uh, we will be live again tomorrow, same time, for more. Um, so, hopefully, I will see you guys there. Appreciate everyone that came out, everyone who contributed, all the new uh, subs, members, etc., etc. So, thank you all for coming out. I hope you guys are enjoying the game. Uh, we will do more tomorrow. And yeah, that is going to be it from me. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying it. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, obviously, the VOD will be up on the channel. Uh, let me know any thoughts in the comments. And yeah, I will see you guys uh, next time. Peace out.